bolt design. And we've got the fire going out here in the factory. It was like 35 when I came in. It's up into the 40s now. It won't take long before it's up to around 60. I'll probably let things set for maybe an hour and, and let everything warm up so it's warm to the touch. It's a lot nicer working that way. Now, the reason why I've got such a hot fire in this stove is because I filled it up with biscuit wood. Okay, I know you're going to say, what the heck is biscuit wood? Well, uh, this is an old-timer thing. I'm 60, so I would know, and if you're younger than 60, and you probably, unless you burned wood all your life, it wouldn't make any sense to you. So let me give you an explanation. Uh, back in the old days, when everything uh, was heated with wood, and everything was cooked in a wood oven, everybody had a big old cast iron wood stove in their kitchen. Now, if you were going to make biscuit, uh, you wanted a, an oven that was like 400 degrees, because biscuit like a really hot oven for a short period of time, uh, soda biscuit. So what you do is, uh, when somebody started making the biscuits, wow, this is getting warm, i got to step away from it, you'd go out in the woodshed and get some really good dry small wood and come in and just stuff the firebox full of small wood. Now, small wood burns fast and burns hot. So if you stuffed it full of small wood and opened it up, you'd get a really hot fire, which translated into a really hot wood oven. And that would uh, be perfect for cooking biscuits. Bring the oven right up to 400 degrees, throw those biscuits in there, and just a few minutes later, you'd have a, a good batch of, of nice biscuits. So that's why they call it biscuit wood, and that's what I put in here today was small, dry wood. So uh, that takes care of that explanation, and the next thing i got to do is build. Uh, it's going to be a fairly easy day. Uh, I've got to build some uh, Snow Peak 600 lids, some 5x18 uh, M4 pot stands. I've uh, got to cut up some uh, 4x24 aluminum windscreens. Got to make some knobs. I've uh, got some carbon felt uh, windscreens. Some of the little uh, Moab or M1, uh, 2, 3, uh, 3, 4, and 5 uh, donut wicks to the top of the M3, 4, and 5s. 50 feet of fiberglass wick and some uh, micro lines. That's not bad at all. I can bang that out in no time. So it's going to be an easy day today. And tomorrow, well, whatever tomorrow brings is what tomorrow brings. I'm Tinny from Mini Bowl Design. Get out and hike. Take a friend, enjoy the great outdoors, and more important than anything, try to have a really great day. Bye-bye.